Hello guys! Welcome to ITS, Information Technology Skills. Kung bago ka sa channel na to, huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe at i-hit ang notification bell para updated ka sa mga bagong tutorial videos about computers. Welcome again guys! Ang topic natin sa video na to is how to convert data types in C Sharp. So these are some of the data types na magkikita po natin kay C Sharp. We have void, bool, byte, car, int, float or double, string. Okay? So, kung hindi nyo pa po alam kung ano ang data types, na-discuss ko na po ang data types sa ibang video and ilalagay ko po yung link sa description box. So, check the description box about the videos on data types and variables. Okay. So, nasabi ko sa ibang video ko na everything that we enter or display kay C Sharp that is considered to be string data type. So, paano natin siya i-convert into other data types or paano natin siya magagamit as other data types? Gagamit po tayo ng methods para po ma-convert sila. And these are the methods. So, before we start, try to write this code on your program. Okay, you can use Visual Studio as your platform. And kung hindi nyo pa po alam kung anong ibig sabihin ng Visual Studio, ilalagay ko din po sa description box yung introduction about a Visual Studio and yung link din po ng introduction about C Sharp. So, after writing your code, ganito po ang magiging output po niya. If you're going to observe, meron pong line na color red under console.readline. So, ano yung ibig sabihin nung line na yan? That is an error. So, paano nyo malalaman kung ano yung mga error or ano yung ibig sabihin nung line na yan? There are two ways. Number one, you can hover or ilagay nyo po yung mouse nyo dun sa error mismo. Yun, magdi-display po tong box na to. And under the box, sa pinakababa, makikita nyo yung error. Okay, so yung error dito cannot explicitly convert type string to int. So, ano ibig sabihin yan? Hindi mo daw pwedeng isave yung string dun sa int. Okay? So, kung titignan natin, console.readline, that is string. Yung ine-enter mo, string po siya. Saan mo siya sinisave? Dun kay x. Ano yung data type ni x? Int. So, hindi po sila pwede. Another way to identify the error is pwede ka yung pumunta dun sa error list. Naka-display po doon lahat ng error nyo. Okay, so dito sa akin, meron akong isang error. Same doon sa nakalagay sa box kanina. Sa error list naman guys, if you double-click the error, dadalhin kayo doon sa line na may error. Now, let's discuss some of the methods na commonly used kay C Sharp. Okay, so first we have 2 in 32. Convert the string representation of a number to a specific base to an equivalent to a 32-bit sign integer. So, ibig sabihin lang po nito guys, 2 in 32 is used to convert a string to numbers. Okay? So, we have the syntax, var name equals to convert that 2 in 32, and inside the parentheses is the string that you want to convert. Okay, so dito guys, kubag nyo kakalimutan nyo, convert that to in 32 and yung parenthesis tapos sa loob ng parenthesis is yung string na i-convert nyo edit your code kanina try to write this code kung i-observe nyo yung code na to we have string input okay so dyan po natin isa-save yung i-enter natin the next is meron tayong x equals to convert that to in 32. Okay? So, yung x, yun po yung variable natin na merong data type na int. The next, we have convert that to in 32. And inside the parenthesis is the variable na input. Yun po yung string natin. Another way is this part. Okay, dito naman guys, sa isang code, wala po yung string input. Ang mangyayari ngayon dito guys, um, we have x equals to 
convert that to in 32 and inside the parentheses yun po yung console dot read line okay so dito meron tayo ng x yun yung variable na meron data type na in convert that to in 32 and inside the parentheses is console dot read line so asan po yung string doon yun yung console dot read line dito sa next na code natin na to is itederecho niya pong i-convert yung string yung tinatype mo into number. Dun sa first na code, isa-save mo na siya sa input na meron data type na string, tsaka niya siya i-convert. Next, we have two string. Convert the numeric value to its string representation. Okay, so yung two string naman guys, i-convert yung number into string. So, basically, yung two-string na method, ginagamit po to for printing or displaying. Okay, so we have this syntax. Convert that to in 32. Inside the parentheses, the number that you want to convert. Or you can have numeric variable that to in 32 and wala pong laman yung parentheses. Ano yung pinagkaiba ng dalawa? Yung first... You have two string na method. Tapos sa loob po niya is the number that you want to convert. Then sa second, you have the numeric variable or yung i-convert nyo that to string. Okay, so wala pong laman yung parentheses. Try to edit your code. So, ganito po. Lagay nyo po either of the two lines. Okay, so mamili lang po kayo dyan ng isa because both line, i-display po niya yung value ni x. Okay, so sa first line of code, we have convert that to string and inside the parentheses is the x. Yun po yung merong data type na integer. While the other line, x dot to string. Okay. So, both line, magdi-display po ng value ng x. Parang po malaman nyo kung talagang nag-convert kanina yung input natin into integer. Edit your code, mag-plus 5 po kayo. Tignan nyo kung magpa-plus po ng 5 yung in-enter nyo na value. Try to run your program and observe the output. Next, we have to double. Convert the string representation of a number to double data type. Dito sa to double, i-convert niya po yung string into decimal. So, ginagamit po yung to double na method kapag gusto niyo pong mag-enter ng decimal numbers dun sa program niyo. We have var name, convert to double, and yung string na i-convert niyo. Okay, so dito, don't forget the convert to double. Open and close parentheses, and inside the parentheses is the string na gusto nyo i-convert into double. Okay? So, try to edit your program. Ilagay nyo po yung code na to. Okay, so, dito meron tayong x na meron siyang data type na double. Then, we have convert to double. Yun po yung method natin. And inside the parentheses, meron po tayong input. Input, guys, is yung in-enter nyo na value nung x, but that is string data type. Okay? So, try lang natin maglagay ng plus 2.5 para makita po natin kung magko-convert talaga siya into decimal numbers. Then, lastly, of course, we're going to print it. Okay? So, try to run your program. Observe the output. If you're done running your program, you can also try this code. Ito naman po yung mas mixing part, which is tatanggalin natin yung string input. Okay, so dito meron tayo nung x. Yun yung may double na data type. Convert to double. And inside the parentheses, meron kayo nung console.readline. So, diretso na po niyang i-convert into decimal number kapag po nakapag enter po kayo. Okay, so maglagay lang tayo ng plus 2.5 para makita natin kung talagang magko-convert siya. Okay? Then next, 
we have two single na method. Ano naman tong two single? Converts the string representation of a number to floating point number. So, ang ibig sabihin ng two single, ikakonvert niya yung string into float. Okay? So, float guys, ito po yung same with double. This is for decimal numbers. Okay? So, lalagyan lang natin ng letter F mamaya to indicate that that is float. So, the syntax for to single, we have var name, convert to single, and the string na you want to convert. Okay, so here, don't forget the convert that to single, and the open and close parenthesis. Inside the parenthesis is the string na gusto natin i-convert into float. Try to edit again your program. Ilagay nyo po tong code na to. Okay, so yung code na to, halos same lang dun sa two double kanina. Yung pinakaiba lang nga natin ngayon dito, meron tayong x na meron siyang data type na float. And gagamit po tayo ng convert to single na method. Okay, so inside the parenthesis ng method na yon, meron tayo ng input na meron siyang data type na string. So yung input po na to is ito yung i-enter nyo na i-convert natin into float. Para po malaman nyo kung mag-convert talaga siya, mag-plus 2.5 na lang po kayo. Okay. So, dahil gumagamit po tayo ng float data type, don't forget to place yung F. Okay. So, yung F po kasi ginagamit to indicate that that data type is a float. Okay. So, try to run your program. Observe the output. Kung ma-observe mo po yung output nyo, wala po yung F. Okay, so hindi magde-display as an output yung F at hindi nyo din po kailangang i-enter yung F dun sa niran nyo na program. Okay, so kung gusto nyo mas maiksi na code, pwede nyo gamitin itong nandito sa baba. Same, meron tayo nung X na float, convert to string, and inside the parenthesis is yung diretso pong console.readline. Okay, so both program have the same output. Mili na lang po kayo kung ano yung mas gusto nyo na code. Next po natin is to car. Convert the first character of a string to a Unicode character. Ginagamit po tong to car to convert one letter into character. Okay, so kahit mag-enter po kayo ng one letter lang kay C sharp, that is considered to be string data type. Okay, so para magamit nyo into character, gagamitin nyo yung method na to car. Okay? Yung syntax po nyan is var name convert to car and the string that you want to convert. Okay? Meron po tayo ditong convert that to car and yung parenthesis inside the parenthesis is the string that you want to convert. Okay? So, try to edit again your program. Meron po tayong x na meron siyang data type na car. And gagamitin po natin yung method na to car. Inside the parenthesis, meron tayo nung input. Okay? So, yung input na yan, yan yung i-enter natin. Meron siyang data type as string. You can also use this code. Use yung mas maikling code. Okay? So, dito meron tayo nung car. Convert to car. And diretso pong console.readline. Okay? So, if you're going to run your program, let's say, ganyan po yung output. Tapos, nag-enter kayo ng two letters. Let's say, nag-type kayo ng IT. Pag hit nyo po nung enter, magkakaroon ng error yung program mo. So, ano yung error niya? Ito yung di-display niya. String must be exactly one character long. Okay, bakit kasi siya nagka-error? Kasi, ang in-enter mo is two characters. And hindi po yun kayang i-convert ni two car na method. Kasi ang kaya niya lang pong i-convert is one letter or one character. Okay? So, wala kayong babaguhin dun sa code nyo. Pero, i-run nyo ulit yung program nyo. Mag-enter lang kayo ng isang letter. Wala po siyang error. Okay? So, inuulit ko. Two car is used to convert one character only. Okay? So, tips when coding. 
Kung magko-code po kayo guys, you don't need to memorize all the method. Ang kailangan nyo lang pong alalahanin is the word convert, dot. Pag kaya, lagay nyo po nung dot or period, magdi-display po yung list of methods. And kung hindi nyo alam kung ano yung gamit ng per method dun sa list, gamitin nyo lang po yung arrow key up and down nyo. Magpapakita naman po yung gamit nung method. Okay? Sample nito, yung to string. Nagpakita po yung gamit ng to string na method and yung syntax po niya. So, that's it guys. Kung may katanungan po kayo, just comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell para updated kayo sa mga bagong videos. Bye!